Listen. Do you hear that? Until the construction guys down the street start throwing their rebar on the street, it's really very quiet here. All you can pretty much hear is the, the waves. That's what happens when we get a little unrest around here. It's been very quiet, so I thought I would just give you another update today on what's going on. The curfew is still on. This is day number two. The curfew is still on. There's a, I don't really have anything new to report. There's nothing new in the news today. The mall was open this morning. Dulce and Cremoso was open. I was able to get my breakfast. So what the hell could be the problem around here? You know, not much of anything. You know, it's this kind of a wait and see kind of thing right now. We're just going to wait and see what happens. The president declared war on the gangs, the gang violence going on in this country. I can see the wind blowing my phone around a little bit. Move a little bit closer. Bear with me, folks. The wind whips around on this balcony in a circle. And if I had the phone sitting too close to my door, then the wind blows it around. So anyway, some people have written up. I did, oh my God, this video I posted yesterday with this first update and all this stuff that's going on. I got like 4,700 comments in the first 12 hours of this vote, this update being posted. Thank you, everybody, for your concern. Folks, don't worry about me. I'm okay. I'm not worried. People are saying I shouldn't be saying anything. I might get targeted. You know, be too easy for people to find me. I, I hardly doubt that the cartel is watching Don Shader, Grumpy Old Gringo YouTube channels. I hardly doubt it. I doubt that any of these gang members around here are watching it. Now, I know somebody's going to come back and say, oh, the wrong person's going to see it, and you're going to be in trouble. Well, bullshit. I'm not worried about it. If the gang finds me and they kill me, I'm not going to know about it. You know, unless there really is a, a heaven and hell and God and all that. And I wake up all of a sudden, I'm in heaven. Lightning striking everywhere. Because that's what will happen if I make it into heaven. So anyway, there's a lot of talk about what can happen. But, you know, I talk to the local people here. I talk to people that I trust. And I, I take them for, for their word. And they tell me to stay out of the bad areas, lay low, don't go traveling right now. Don't, you know, talk, talk to me. Tell me, don't go traveling throughout the country in my car. You know, don't go touring. Let things get settled down. The, when they, the gangs took over the TV station yesterday, according to the reports that I got, the cops stormed the place. They walked in, and the guys just basically fell over and bellied up and gave up. You know, they just, no shooting. Nobody had to be shot or anything. So, the curfew yesterday was 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. Originally, it was 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. Then they moved to 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. for 12 hours. And then I was told this morning that the curfew is actually back to 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. So that's good. I'm glad to know that it's still on and keeps kind of things kind of quiet around here, you know? Right now, if you listen, all you can hear are the waves in the background. There's not a lot of people out. Let's see. I'm looking down at the beach right now. And, well, here's a picture. You see, I think there's, I see one or two people, two or three people in there. That's it. Normally, this time of day, there would be several hundred. So, not very many people are getting out. Everybody's laying low, taking it easy. There's not nearly as much stuff going on in Monta as there is in, in uh, Waikil, Quito, and Cuenca. <clears throat> I'm not even sure if the stuff that we heard about. 
quick as even true. Somebody said there was a shouting, a oh, shouting. Yeah, there was a shouting match in uh, Parquet Calderon. Uh, somebody said there was a shooting in Parquet Calderon, but then people came right behind him and said, well, I, it's amazing, I couldn't find any reports of that anywhere. So that's the thing about getting information right here, folks. Sometimes it's not the most reliable information. I, it's, you, sometimes you just don't know if what you're hearing is the truth or not. So anyway, that's it for this update. I'm okay. Don't worry about me. I'm taking it easy. I'm, I'm not going out on the street with my camera and saying, you know, late breaking news, you know. I'm standing here and the shelling's going on all around me and see there's shooting going on over there and there's rain, riots going on over there. I'm not doing that. I'm staying home. I got plenty of food. I got plenty of beer, plenty of wine. Life is good. Next week on the 16th, I'm going to Phoenix. The airport should be open, I hope. As long as we have travel plans, we have a ticket, we can go. And unless they close the airport down. I doubt that they'll close the airport down here in Monta. Okay, so that's it for update number two. And I will be back tomorrow and let you know what's going on. Okay, thanks so much, everybody. I appreciate it. And I will say this. If you are coming to Ecuador, if you're planning to be here this week, wait. Okay, just wait. The airlines will understand, okay? Just tell them you're going to wait until this uh, unrest stuff settles down. I wouldn't come here. I would not, especially if you're flying into Waikil. Just stay home and wait, okay? Just wait a few days, all right? We'll keep you posted on what's going on, okay? Ciao, ciao. See you later.